Hey everybody, it's Party Elite here with another episode of my Strath Clut Let's Play in Thrones of Britannia. This episode we're going to pay a little visit to Edinburgh and hopefully another little visit down here to Bebenburg. And that means there will be a couple of siege battles, hopefully over the course of this uh, session today. And that will show you an angle that I haven't yet shown in this campaign. We didn't have any siege battles last session. Now, I'm going to hit end turn because at the end of the last session we kind of finished giving our orders and everything. So I'm going to hit end turn here, let the AI take over, and then just ramble for a quick minute. Now I didn't mention this last time, but if you are interested in purchasing Thrones of Britannia and you haven't already, what I'm going to do is I'm going to include an affiliate link in the description down below and also maybe in the comments. It's with the Humble Bundle. If you buy through that, then not only do you help the channel, you also help charity. Again, it's Humble Bundle. So... Consider that as an option. That's all I wanted to say. And it looks like Athfakla here wants to talk about being friends. Now, I I think it's actually pronounced Athfakla, like with a T sound, but we'll see how YouTube feels about that with their demonetization strategies. But we'll accept their declaration of friendship. No harm with that. We've got mutual enemies. This uh, military alliance with Kirken might be a problem, but we'll deal with that when the time comes. Looks like Orknear is... Trying to make a move down here, and there are also Viking Sea Kings, so if they get too close to me, you can bet I'm gonna turn around and cleanse the Isles of them as well. They're already too close, they're on my island, so we'll deal with them, but eventually for now. Gotta finish that war with North Leod off, hopefully this session. Sons of Rodri. Since the death of Rodri the Great, Wales has begun to fall back into the divisions that allowed its people to be conquered and driven to the far west but no more. Mercy thought to take advantage and has mounted an invasion, but the king of Gwyneth's response was swift and decisive. He has subsumed the smaller kingdoms nearby, and now he will show the Anglo-Saxon invaders what the old Britons are capable of. Nice. All right, so Gwyneth rallies the Welsh factions to fight back against Mercy. Cool. Good for you, buddy. Now, we seem to have gained a trait here. Eocade, or Ecade, is hospitable, gained from the Great Hall building chain. Nice. Good for you. And, uh, right, so let's get the show on the road. We do have an unassigned skill for run. I think what we'll do is, despite our food situation, I think we'll get ourselves a quartermaster, increase our campaign movement range so that we can run farther every turn. Ho ho. Uh, and let's actually figure something out here. Edinburgh, what's your deal? You've got for six units in the garrison. All right, so the descendants of Maxton can obviously not take Edinburgh on their own. Uh, instead, we can send them down here to Maelros, which looks like it's a farm or something. Uh, it is indeed pasture, so that'll help our food situation out, which we're in desperate need of. And these guys, with their eight, they're not a healthy eight. That's going to be a healthy six in Edinburgh, so they're unhealthy eight. What we're going to do is we're going to move forward to the edge here. Just stay within our home territory and replenish ever so slightly, just to help ourselves out. Descendants of Maxton, meanwhile, can move a little bit further. Why is there a... Oh, that's why. Come on, come on, work with me here. There we go. So we're going to move them towards Melrose. Hopefully we can take that. And then down here, God's warriors are going to move towards Carloyle because... That way we'll have a nice little clump down here as well. And we'll move uh, Descendants of Maxen to Maelross, and then we'll take Rukester. I guess that's Rochester. It's my guess. I'm not very good at uh, UK geography when it comes to cities and stuff. But yeah, that's a, a solid plan. Let's see if it even comes close to working out. That's all our movement done, I believe. Yes, yes, and yes. End turn. One thing I will miss from Warhammer 2 is the little end turn notifier letting us know... Uh, the hell's happening. It's like Ken Rigamond fell to North Leod last turn. And Kirken's moving down south here. Yeah, I think these guys moved in last turn and just took, uh, Ken Rigmanid. And I imagine there has, yeah, they're probably gonna take Scone. There we go. They took Scone in as well. And that's sort of the joy of the new province system. I'm a really big fan, actually, of the new, uh, province system. I was very skeptical of it at first. I thought... It would be kind of, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Less interesting, less of a challenge, because now you're not organizing, ooh, West Moringa's fell. 
So did Alec. Um, you're not organizing settlements to the same degree, but I actually feel like it's more of a challenge this way because uh, that army there, I think it was like maybe a two stack or a three stack or something, it rolled in, took Ken Rigamon Rigmonid, became a 13 stack, I thought it was, and then took Skone in because they can. And now Athfutla is right here and they could actually take Ken Rigmonid back or Kier Ken with their one stack could roll up here and take it back. So it just adds this interesting dynamic and it also makes for uh, more threatening rebellions. Because I mean, think about it in like Warhammer 2, for example, signing an estate here so this guy stops complaining. Yeah, we have Evan Koenig. Aiden, take it and leave me alone. There we go. So think about it. In Warhammer, for example, when there is a... Uh... Oh, crap. These guys are probably going to take Malrus. Well, all we can do is move towards it. That's really unfortunate. They're probably going to take that, so we have to move towards Rukester. Oh, I should have taken a more southern path. That's fine. But they're going to they're gonna take that. Damn it. All right. That's okay. And over here, God's Warriors, let's keep you moving as well. Right, so rebellions, for example, in, um, in Warhammer. They pop up. They're next to a minor settlement, let's say. And what's the worst that could happen? They'll wait, they'll recruit a couple more units, and then they'll, uh, you know, slam against your walls, perhaps. Not all that scary. Oh dear, if I recruit three units... Negative 57. Uh, sure, let's do it. It's temporary. It's temporary. It'll be worth it. That's the turn. Yeah, so, Rebellion kicks up. You know, they wait, they get a 20 stack, and they attack your settlement. Maybe it's a minor settlement, but you've leveled up all the walls and stuff. You're probably going to win. Um, look at that. Kirken's going to roll back in and take Ken Rigmanid. Love it. Okay. And now they're a 9 stack from a 1 stack. Oh, um, but yeah, but in Thrones of Britannia, if a 4 stack rebellion pops up next to a minor settlement, you're almost guaranteed to lose that settlement. Oh, look at that. North Leod kind of left when chasing after Ken Rigmanid. Skonin then got taken by Athfotla, and these guys are like monkey monkey in the middle here. That's nice. Um, but yeah, so I really like the new system. It makes smaller armies significantly more threatening, which is fun in my opinion. Um, I might want to make wait another turn with the Spears of Britain, actually, because the snow will cause attrition if I don't. And you guys, let's get you into something, some safe... Yeah, see, they took Melrose. I didn't even check. I just knew they'd do it. Ugh, okay, where... How can I... Right, I'll see what 50% is. Okay. Let's not risk it. Let's go up to there. Fortify. Yeah, so there we go. And, uh... Sorry. Keep losing my train of thought because I have to keep doing things for the sake of my nation. But that is why I actually am a big fan of this... new settlement system. The new minor settlement system. Uh, I will actually, on that note, do a couple things. I'm going to try and keep an eye out for things that you guys have been asking in the comments of the previous video, comments of this video when it goes up. Uh, on Reddit as well, I saw a couple of questions. I'm going to try and answer all those questions with visuals as well, like, you know, how do charges look, how do charges feel, um, things like that. Uh, naval warfare, I think we saw a fair bit of that happening right now. Navy's being used quite well to uh, conquer these coastal uh, territories. Uh, and I will also be preparing sort of a review, an overview, giving details about Thrones of Britannia. I'll prepare that for as soon as I can, I guess. But talking about what's good, what's not so good, what's bad, uh, what could have been done better. I'll just, I'll make a full video and give my opinions just so you guys have a more coherent idea after I've had some chance to play with, you know, play with the game for a lot longer than just uh, a couple turns here, a couple turns there for some videos. All right, so it looks like Kier Ken is making a move for Edinburgh as well. So we're going to roll in first because I refuse to let them have this. And uh, let's build... Let's go with that. Two turns? I can wait two turns. Cool. Kier Ken can leave now. You can go up and deal with your other enemies up north. Please leave. Stop taking what's rightfully mine from me. All right, and let's keep rolling down south over here. To Rukester, because Bebenberg, again, is a major settlement, so I, I won't be able to take it with a three-stack. Rukester, what are you? Rochester, I guess. Oh, interesting. So if I actually wait three turns, I won't have to spend money to upgrade this structure. So maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll sit here and raid. 
We'll move a little bit closer next turn just to make sure... Just to make sure that uh, Kirken's not rolling up here somewhere, but uh, that sounds good to me. Over here, God's Warriors. Ah, oh, crap, don't tell me. Oh, Northumbra, don't do this to me. They're, they're going to put it under siege before I can get there. I just know it. We'll try anyways, but I just know it. Right, actually, we have enough money now to get this conversion happening here, so let's fix the situation here. Get an abbey in there, and that's all of our wealth. We're at negative 69 for food. That is so bad. Okay, having Edinburgh is going to help. So there's that. For the glory of the Cymru. Supplies are very low. Once we take Rukester, that'll be better. I don't think I have the chance to wait for this thing to be built, actually. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Negative 69 food. I, I'm, going, I'm going to start taking attrition soon. Unless I fix that. Alright, Ken's rolling on down south again. Probably headed to Bedenburg. That's my guess. Grantebru. You have a lot of enemies. I am not about to make a defensive pact with someone who has that many enemies. No thank you. Yeah, you tried, buddy. His name was Anlaf. There's a pun in there somewhere. Alright. Took your Ken's back down here. Oh. Coldingham just got taken. Maybe I can stroll in and take it back. Kirken's going to get there first. Yeah, my three stack is too far south for that. And they need to conquer that land. Viking duplicity. It seems the Viking pirates, who now call themselves kings, are indeed learning other ways to get what they want, beside the axe and sword. Dublin has taken control of once independent Brega, without blood being shed, if accounts are true. No doubt underhand payments and threats of serious violence were involved. All right. Dublin annexes Brega. This is actually an event that you get if you're playing as Dublin, so that's pretty cool. Um, God damn. All right, well, might as well abandon that situation. Head up north this way. We could take Rochester with God's Warriors. That frees this army up. We're going to start taking attrition. We could try and get to Coldingham. These two might beat each other to death. So let's see what we can do. Let's move up north. This army's coming here anyway, so we'll take Rochester with them, or Rukester, I guess. And over here, it looks like Kirken wants to get involved. Hmm. You know what? I say... Say let's dive into this right now. This is good enough. We've got one tower and one battering ram, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. And Kirken's going to join us on the battlefield. We're not allied, but they're going to provide their aid. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dear God, forgive me. Um, Yeah, you know, let's do this. We, we're so much more powerful than them, but I want to showcase some siege battles. And uh, Edinburgh is a pretty interesting uh, town as well. So let's uh, take this to the battlefield. All right. Hmm, rain. Nope, not be able to access flaming arrows. Um... I might want to use that. Buildings are hard to set on fire. I don't like that. So let's uh, let's wait. Hope for a dry day. Fog? No. No, I want a dry day. Still fog. All right, last chance. I hope it doesn't rain. Okay, there we go. Dry day. Start deployment. The first thing we're going to do is actually take a look at this settlement. So this is gate number one. So first entry point. And off to the side over here, we have a second entry point. And the actual uh, control point is over here, if I'm... Yeah. So that's the control point. So you've got two entry points by land. And if you look over here, there's this little beach. And if I actually came in with a mixed force, like with an amphibious force, or I came in with a naval force, I'd be able to roll up onto this beach, disembark, and then move in and start setting fire to these buildings and push in and take that city center. So, uh, again, just an example of what a full siege battle is like. I know all of you guys who are historical fans are very familiar with this kind of thing. But all the uh, Warhammer fans who are watching who've never played a historical Total War game, uh, now you kind of see what all the hubbub is about. Like, look at that. This is a glorious, glorious city, and there are so many ways to approach it. It's just nice to have those options. But enough about that. Let's start setting ourselves up. Not sure where Kirken... Okay. So reinforcements are coming from over here. 
that's fine. It'll be a while before they get get in, but at least they'll deal with that gate, and I'll deal with this gate. So that'll actually split the defenders up. Let's move our ram right up. That's further back. Right up. <laughs> there we go. Well, I'll take that gate, and then the tower can be off to the side over here. And we can take this section over here. Yeah. Try and spread these guys out if possible. All right, archers, we'll put you over here. We've got you and you as our cavalry. We have to wait until the ram actually takes care of the gatehouse first. And uh, let's see. We can get our Welsh swordsmen moving up this as well, while our spears can stay down here, considering if there's any cavalry for them to take care of. It will be on the ground, obviously, not on the walls. All right, I think we're all set up. I think we're good to go. Let's deselect these guys and... Well, actually, if I forget... Guard mode, skirmish mode. All right. Here goes. And I'm going to try and showcase, you know, all the things you guys have been asking for. Uh, what charges look like. What, uh... Okay, I'm good. Thanks, buddy. Uh, what charges look like. What uh, movement looks like. And first thing we're going to see is what... Shield castle looks like. So this is them forming up to protect themselves from uh, range fire. It takes some time. There we go. And boom. There you have it. Shields are up. And these guys are going to be safer from range fire while we're pushing up over there. And off to the side over here as well. You know what? Let's get our shield castle happening. Just to make sure we're safe while the tower and the battering ram are moving up. And reinforcements have in fact arrived. These guys are rolling in. It's a huge army. Dear lord. All right. And we're slowly rolling up as well. Let's actually get our archers pushing forward. A little bit faster. And hopefully we can fire away at... Uh, these are axemen. Oh, javelins over here. Fire at these javelins. Oh, good job there, falling back. Real clever. Also, uh, I think I just heard the true gales join our ranks or something like that. That's pretty interesting. I wonder how specific it gets. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Don't don't keep firing away just for the sake of firing away. These guys have shields. Let's not waste any uh, arrows. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there as well. Time to time to move forward. Right. Gotta do that. Taking some damage, but it's not the end of the world. Let's keep firing at these javelins. Come on. I want to see the arrows. Slaughter. One of my favorite things to watch. Always has been. Come on, come on. Give me something. Give me something. The battering ram's approaching. And the tower has arrived as well. You guys are pouring out. And you can actually order this and take a look at this. I love this. Okay, that's a little funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, they'll climb the ladder. I'll have to let CA know that that's happening. But they'll climb the ladder, and they'll hop right through, and then they'll get involved on the walls. Glory for Wales. And uh, I think the gate's about to break as well. Soon enough. Come on. Give me a, give me a nice break here. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, our ram has fallen as well. Jesus. Push through. Push you guys through, and let's get our cavalry pushing through as well. Because we can. Alright. Heading through. These guys are falling apart. Let's just dive. Oh, there we go. There's the route there. Now we can actually form up. I'd like to form up and charge them properly, actually. We just have to be wary of the javelins that are firing at us. Alright, we're in now. Let's get ready to charge these guys. Push in. I think it's time to go. Get cavalry away, and we should have a charge coming in. These guys are probably going to try running away if they know what's good for them. All right, here we come. Good hits again. So you can see exactly how the charge is looking. Uh, again, it's a little subjective, so you guys can you know give your opinions as well. Let me know what you guys think, uh, and feel free to you know make your own opinions about how you feel about certain things. I like, I actually am a big fan of how the cavalry charges look. 
So take a look at this. Uh, these are spears, but let's try this. So they will push through, and they will throw these guys around. That wasn't the best shot. They'll throw these guys around. It's not like Warhammer, where it's as if gravity suddenly, you know, disappeared from the world. But it does... But it does, uh... Have impact. It does have a little bit of an oomph to it. It throws these guys around. It'll, uh, you know, trample some people. So it feels nice. I like how it looks. I feel like it could be a bit more intense. Uh, throw people a little bit harder, maybe. But, um... But yeah, it's gotten better than what it was before. Alright, one more unit to take care of here, and that's actually their commander. So, let's see. We've got spears up here. Let's charge into those spears and get rid of that. First. Give me a nice charger. Come on. There you go. See how they kind of like clump up and they form up? So I feel like there's a nice little bit of punchiness now to how they actually clash. I feel like it could feel a little bit chunkier. Uh, like it, it, a little bit more force maybe in those charges. But once they actually line up and start stabbing at each other, feels pretty good. Feels better than the uh, early builds that we were getting, that's for sure. And uh, same goes for the cavalry charges, like I was saying earlier. It's uh, There's more oomph to it now. It could use a little bit more, I think, but it definitely feels good. Uh, let's get these guys lined up. Let's capture this tower first, i.e. destroy it. Let's get you guys moving up over here. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. All right. We're still chasing after them. That's okay. We've got enough enough numbers to take care of this. Ooh, clouds overhead. Come on. All right, so hopefully we'll capture this soon enough. And they have come through the gates as well on their end. All right. Good enough for me. This will be ours soon enough. We'll have both these guys in there. They're going to take a little bit of damage as that happens. Pop shield castle. Oh, jeez. Come on, destroy this damn thing. Almost there. All right, I'm gonna try and get some nice uh, cavalry charges for you guys to see what I'm talking about. Because I am a fan. All right, that should break any second now. There it goes. Excellent. Enough of the shield castle. Let's move up. Got our cavalry coming in from the behind as well. I don't think we've actually done that much damage to the settlement itself. Nothing's on fire. Oh, <laughs> did that just start? I think that might have just started. So, nothing like a little bit of fire. Oh my god, look at the size of this army just marching through the streets there. Alright. Time to do our bit here. We've got our cavalry... Let's get a rear charge. These are spears, so I have to be careful, but I want to show you guys what the spear looks like and what it feels like. The charge. All right, here we go. So in they come, and hopefully we'll get some decent tossing going on. Yes, take a look at that. They actually throw these guys aside. They stumble a little bit. Some of these guys get trampled. So I am a fan of how that looks and feels. It's a bit more, you know, realistic. People don't fly 30 feet. At least I don't think they do. Oh, look at that guy fall. <laughs> it's a good animation. I like it. Um, oh, geez. We're, we're burning things up. City of Flame. All right, let's get this charge in here. But yeah, so I like how, how the cavalry charges feel, especially. Here we come. All right. We'll stand a chance. Maybe we get another rear charge in here. Where's our... Get a nice rear charge in here. But yeah, so I like how that feels. They get tossed around a fair bit. Um, they get trampled on. I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit more uh, aggressive, but uh, yeah, look at that. Feels pretty good. But again, that's my opinion. You guys, let me know what you think about that. And again, your feedback is it's quite clear. Creative Assembly looks and uh, and they react, so we should definitely let them know how we feel about these things. I know I certainly will. Oh my god, Take just look at that. Look how... <laughs> there's just something about this. You know, there's just something about this. Trees on fire. That tree just caught fire. Oh my god. I shouldn't be so happy. This is my city now. I'm basically setting my own city on fire. It's like keying your own damn car, right? Decisive victory. Thank you very much.
Again, thank you for your aid. Nothing like repeating a pun. Lost 777. Isn't 7 supposed to be a lucky number? We only lost 293 men. Not bad. We did quite well. 161 kills on these guys? Impressive. That's impressive. Our archers didn't get as much work in as I would have liked, but that's alright. Cool. And thus, Edinburgh did fall. We're just going to occupy it. We don't need the money that desperately. Heroism, becoming bolder. Now the people have seen that you are capable of heroic deeds. They are starting to get behind you. Your warriors have begun to fight with greater vigor and skill, and your subjects no longer revile you. Gee, thanks, guys. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's helpful. That's good. What have we got here? Building requires repair. Maybe we did a little bit too much damage here. It's going to cost us, literally and figuratively. And uh, we need a new governor, I guess, for, for Loden. Okay, so let's assign a governor here. There was some guy who was pretty good. These guys are already... Uh, this guy is already a governor. Katwarid. How are you? Um, he'd make a much better general. And Denawal. Strategist. Farmer. Wise. Yeah. He'd be good. Alright. Denawal. Let's give you Loden. Yes. Cool. That'll help our food situation as well, because he is a farmer. It help our food situation, I say. We're still at negative 43. All right, so now we're going to stay here, replenish a little bit, and uh, hopefully move towards Bebenberg. We're also moving towards Coldingham. Hopefully these guys sort of slaughter each other, and God's Warriors again, they're going to take Ru Rukester. My, my educated guess is that's Ro Rochester. That is a place, right? <laughs> As I say, educated. All right. Here, Ken, you can leave. Go up north. There's nothing else for you here. Let us be. Let the Welsh take back their domain. I think that 20 is moving towards Coldingham. Which means I'm not getting it. Okay, Athfutla. Right, these guys are allied, so... They don't have anything to worry about there. I One thing I need to test properly is how effective alliances are. That's something I do need to make sure works well. All right, what's this? A worthy bride, Katwarid, wants to get married to Merared. He wants to get Merared? <laughs> she's ugly. This game pulls no punches. It just straight up says, well, she's rich, which takes the edge off a little. Jeez. That reduces zeal. It's not good. Less chance of having children. A higher chance of having illegitimate children. That's really not good. Am I really about to lower my influence for this? Oh, dear. Yeah, I can't let that happen. The zeal reduction? No. No, it's just an infatuation. Let it go. How? 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 Mission issued. All right. Melros is an abbey and settlement on the bend of a lowland river in southern Alba. The church there, said to be founded by the earliest Christians in these isles on an old Roman site, holds extensive lands, and the area thereabout is famed for its sheep farming. Oh, God. don't say it in the comments, guys. The combination of oh, geez. ecclesiastical status and material wealth is very attractive, as are the sheep. Um, Maelros. Well, that's with Kirken. I can't take Maelros. Come on. Oh, we'll do what we can. Oh, really? I have to go all the way around, eh? Did not realize there was a little lake here. Fair enough. Fair enough. A little bit of an adventure. Kirken can't be moving in there. Ooh. Damn. We're going to be just short. This army is going to move in and take it. Pointless move. I'm a little worried, actually, that God's champions, the enemy's God's champions, are going to recruit a big army and then just come and wreck me. Should have checked that before I moved up like that. Over here, we could recruit. No, we can't recruit. We don't have food. I need to stop saying we can recruit when we can't. We need to be reasonable. All right, we could, however, move this army towards Bebenberg, so at least we can take that. So, Rukester, Bebenberg, and I take it this has been taken? Yeah, it has. Northumbra has Carloil. Fantastic. Loden is not happy. It's a 4% chance with a negative 4. Occupation is part of it, and the food situation is part of it. What if we build... What could we build, actually? We should... I think I'll upgrade Edinburgh. I've got the money now, and I'd like to get, like, a blacksmith or something over here. 
just because when time comes to go to war with the north, it'll be a nice place where we can upgrade armor and arms and things like that. So it'll be quite helpful, I think. Um, so yeah, let's upgrade Edinburgh. Hopefully it gets repaired as well. <sighs> yeah, we're not going to get cold in them. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be honest with ourselves. We can try. We'll make a dash for it. And who knows, maybe North Leod and, uh, and Kirken will keep going back and forth. Ooh, I don't like that. Northumbra's 19 stack looks like it's moving in for... Rukester. Oh, don't rob me of what's rightfully mine. Okay, cowards. Oh, what did Kirken do? They didn't move south. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what's drawing their eye. Alright, the descendants of Mas Maxin, sorry. Mortality of bees. No, not the bees. Bees are dying. Oh, that reduces supply. I that's I can't afford that, guys. Okay, this 14 stack is a little scary. Damn it, they took Rukester. I'm I'm actually quite livid right now. Okay, we can uh we can move up to here and avoid attrition. Maybe we can take Bebenburg, right? That'd be nice if we could at least get something out of this war from North Leod. At least we'll get Coldingham. There we go. Occupy that. Thank you kindly. And he's actually leveled up as well. Nice. We're going to give him Forager because our food situation. And uh, Coldingham, what have we got here? Hunting grounds. Nice. Let's repair that. That'll help a lot. And this 11 stack, let's try and get you out of attrition. Not gonna happen. All right, so let's go 50% and fortify. Okay, that's 50. Fortify. And then we'll hit Bevenberg. We've got the 14 coming up as well, so at least we'll have a nice little... connected piece, because again, we care about uh, avoiding border gore. Not just me, not just party elite, but uh, my nation, my people care about... Border Gore. Ooh, Din Pris. What can we do here? It'll help our financial situation, but that's not what I need right now. I need to save up money so I can build better farms and things like that. So let's uh, let's just wait a little bit. Get some better uh, farming going. Oh, don't you dare. I'm worried that that 15 is moving towards Bevenberg. God damn it. If they take Bebenburg, I might go to war with Kirken. The next war is kind of between Kirken and uh, Northumbra. So I'll have to see. I'll have to see, depending on how things end up here. Uh, alternatively, what I might do is go to war with... Uh, oh, damn it. With, like, a Futla or something to uh, remove some of the allies that Kirken has. Well, I mean, they're going to join the war anyways, what am I saying? Alright, well, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. Coldingham is ours. Ooh, they're moving in, are they? Everyone's moving in towards Bevenberg. Everyone's moving in. Is that really as far as I can get? Nice. I can't believe I'm about to do this. Alright, Descendants of Maxen. They deserve a name for this. They're pushing in, getting the siege to happen. It's fine, I'll, I'll wait the five turns. Maintain that siege. And now we are moving in with our other armies as reinforcements. That's actually quite good. I just saved I just saved Bebenberg from uh, Kirken and Northumbra, if that works out. All right, let's upgrade that as well. That will help our food situation by enough, I think, from 50 to 80, yeah. Okay, these guys are still very... That's why they're suffering from attrition, but... Uh, solve that situation soon enough. Food is almost going to be taken care of. And uh, I think that's the turn. Ooh, that's so many, like, small armies roaming around. And some large armies, too, of course, but... I guess that's the effect of the new minor settlement system. The one thing that needs to be tested... Because that will kind of make or break the system. One thing that needs to be tested is... Uh, does... Uh, does the AI suffer equally? Now, I am playing on very hard, very hard, so they are obviously getting some buffs through numbers, but how bad is it? 
How bad could it be? Okay, I'm going to retreat, obviously, but I think I delayed the enemies. Because these are the two, like, I think they're both up in Scotland or something. So we're going to retreat. And I should be able to move in. Oh, no, 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 there's a few of them left. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, good. I wasn't sure where uh, Northumbra stood in the turn order. Okay, God's warriors are losing some men. War fervor has decreased. That's not good. We need to end this war. The Welsh Rebellion. One of the Welsh vassals under the yoke of the Anglo-Saxons has broken free. They have declared independence and raised swords against their former liege lord. The new, this new conflict could greatly destabilize the region. One of West Sax's Welsh vassals declares an independence war. Awesome. You go, Wales. Damn right, independence war. Okay, yeah, that's not, that's not under siege. So, the full 11 could go in, or God's warriors could go in. Probably a good idea for the full 11. Because what, what does Bevenberg have? Seven. Yeah, okay, I can count. I swear. We've got some Thanes in there. No cavalry. Hmm. Well, we're going to move in with everything, so what does it matter? Let's push in. Spears of Britain going first. Alright, that's our siege. Two turns. Well, let's make sure we have one of each at least in one turn. Maintain that siege. We will have the assistance of uh, Harald of Northumbra. And over here, we're going to move in from... Ooh, maybe we can... I mean, we can try. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. That way we'll, you know, be able to see it in our Siege of Bevenberg. And this army, again, descendants of Maxen, feel free to suggest a name for these guys. Because they were, they were goddamn heroes there. They truly were. Take them back home, they can rest. They just saved Bevenberg. <laughs> they just saved Bevenberg. Alright, I think we're good. Good, we're good, we're good. That's the turn. Yeah, I, I will sorely miss the end turn notifier, like the missed events and stuff. Here, Ken, you want to come down with your 20 and join in on the party? There's a huge party going on right now. One might even call it an elite party. I'm wondering how many towers I want to wait for. They don't have that many troops, and they'll be split between, like, three angles of approach. I'm so excited. I'm, like, giddy. <laughs> You will not find a better. That's one way to or try to arrange a marriage. What is she? Wasteful. Minus one governance and corruption increase. Um. No, I'm thinking. Because you're also a Viking sea king. So yeah, how about no? I had high hopes, but never mind. Never mind indeed. Just notice I'm strength rank nine. I don't like that. I'm used to being number one. All right. Okay, soul has been destroyed, sure. Lost some more men here. Lost some more men here. That should be the last of it, though. Alright, these guys are still here. <laughs> oh my god, imagine Kirken joined in as well. Okay, so let's move in over here. I... Shouldn't lead the charge, no. Maintain blockade. I guess we're ready to roll in. Let me just check what's up first. So, uh, Denawal is leveled up. We could... Again, we're about to solve the food situation, I think, so we could do something else here. Uh, we could help our loyalty. We could help... Um... Zeal. If I pump Zeal, it'll help uh, public order, which is maybe not a bad idea, actually. Or we can do the Scribe for some more money. Let's do the Scribe first, actually. Money is... It's not terrible right now, but... I'd like to be making more per turn. Aiden is causing a fuss again. This guy, I swear to God, I should assassinate him. Who are you, anyway? What's your deal? He's temperamental, boy, I'd say. He's a general of mine. Low on loyalty, uh, but he's seasoned noctophobe. Oh, renowned. Oh, he's that champion rider. Tempted to reset and give him a uh, priest instead. 
Oh no, I can't. That's right. This isn't a full reset. Sorry. It's awfully tempting to to kill him. Don't waver. Sails trimmed and oars dipped. It's got a tiny army. I have such a small army and yet so much confidence. All right, let me just check. If I were to assassinate him, who could we replace him with? Ketwarid, vigorous rider. <laughs> He's an impassioned, vigorous rider. I think I just found the title for this episode, Impassioned, Vigorous Rider. And he's funny. The men come first. Oh, this is too good. Sorry, I try to keep things PG, but this is just too funny. Um, so that increases upkeep costs, which we can't necessarily afford right now. Uh, minus 50% upkeep for spear. Ooh, plus 20% industry for where he's governing. Anarut. I recognize that name. All right, we, we'd have Katwarid as an option. He's not the worst. It's my Justicar. Maybe we assassinate just for the sake of having an assassination happen. We are folk. He's been a constant thorn. So you know what? We have the wealth. 1525. Plots to have a character assassinated, ensuring they are no longer a threat to or burden upon your family. Ooh, the assassin was caught, but not before the act was done. As you might expect, fingers have been pointed. Leave it be for natural justice. Oh, that reduces my influence. Or intervene, and it'll cost me some money. I can't afford to lose more influence. We're going to intervene. You must prevent yourself being identified. Someone else will have to take the fall. Takes pay some money to for... Oh, that's rough. It's too late to act. This man has had reprieve for now. No, intervene. I just killed a man. <laughs> All right, Ketwarid, you take control. Let the enemy beware. It almost feels worse with just a click of a button. Jesus. All right, I think we're uh, I think we're ready to go. We've got our boats ready. We've got Start this army ready. Down. So my heir, my son, will will lead the charge. Taking care of everything else. Bebenberg, control large army. I could wait a couple turns, but I don't think I need to. And yes, the balance of power is supremely in my favor, but auto-resolve isn't as fun to watch, I think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you'd rather I auto-resolve, but this will be an interesting siege. You'll see some new mechanics, especially if you've never uh, seen them before. Let's do it. All right, this should be fun. Uh, we've got a dry day right now. Sounds good to me. Start deployment. And uh, let's take a look first. So reinforcements are going to be coming in off in the distance over here. We'll come through. There's a giant beach over here that we can land at and then move up from. And that's the city center over there. So this is one angle of approach. Our uh, not-so-allied reinforcements are coming in from over there. There's a good spot for them to hold the, the land over here, actually. And uh, I've got my army over here for this gate the other option is that my uh, naval forces join my land forces at this beach instead but I think I'd rather stress them out a bit more so yeah we'll bring our naval forces over here and we'll just flood them and uh, there's a watchtower right here though I think I thought I saw one yeah there's a watchtower here so just need to be wary of that and then our land forces will hit this gate. All right, cool. This should be fun. This should be fun. Okay. It'll be chaotic, but it'll be fun. So there's the ram. Get you up there. Siege tower will get you over here. Okay, that should be clean paths. Let's get everybody else back here so I can organize myself. All right. So these axes, they will be backed by Welsh swordsmen up on the walls. Three spears on the ground. Horse. Makes sense. Can move these guys a little bit further up ahead. And our archers. Get you guys set up. Firing away from the start, hopefully. Ish. Start-ish. Come on. There we go. And our cavalry. Uh, let's keep you tucked in the trees. Just keep them safe. Here, number one. All right. I think we're good to go. And our reinforcements again will arrive from over there. So, uh, yeah, let's kick things off. Be sure to protect your general in combat. His loss will be keenly felt amongst his The battle is turning in our favor. 
<laughs> already turning in our favor. Okay, let's move up and fire. And these guys, let's actually shield castle it up. There are reinforcements. Oh my god, this is so... <laughs> I miss this. I miss this so much. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Let's, let's not get too distracted. So they're gonna roll up. Plan is they're gonna roll up and come over here. And then we have... Cavalry. Hiding in here. Uh, maybe we'll join forces with our other allies. Oh, they actually came up behind us. I guess I misremembered the map. That's oh, okay, not the end of the world. Alright, we're still firing away. We are. Take a look at how that looks. Come on. Oh, damn shields. Alright, one guy drops. There's that. Keep the pressure on. The watchtowers are firing as well. Ooh. Oh my god, right through the skull. I'll take that tower down. Tower will be fine. The tower will be fine. It'll probably get stuck on that little fence there for a little bit. All right. All right. Let's, uh... Holy crap. Let's move up. These guys are almost there. Yeah, these guys are gonna drop. We're almost here as well. Our boats are arriving soon as well. Kind of wish the uh, defenders had more units. All right, here we come. Excellent. These guys up there. We'll try and take care of that watchtower. And we're almost at the gate as well. You three. Move up. Keep these guys moving as well. Let's watch the gates go down. How far? 20%. Couple more hits. The boats are almost there. I think one more. There it is. <laughs> that was the one. Alright, down goes the ram. And let's push through. Move in. We've taken care of their javelins there. What's left? All the way back here, they're protecting that side. We just have to move up to there. Well. Let's make sure we're not taking the wrong cavalry units. Oh my god, stop setting fire to my future settlement. Okay. Rolling on up. Oh my god. Just gonna get these guys to land. And we'll be fine. This is a very easy battle. Archers down. We have more ships than we have beach. to fire upon. Well, we're gonna hit the ground soon. Keep our cavalry moving. Could capture this victory point. Ah, there's no point. Alright. Here we come. But yeah, so if this was a more uh, complex battle, rather I should say, if the enemy had more moving pieces, then it would be a lot more tense. But uh, yeah, there you go. And that's what an amphibious battle is like. Is on fire. What are you? Are you trying to race me to the top here, bud? Don't do that. Don't do that, please. Get these swords over here. Oh my god, these guys cannot show restraint. 
burning my town up. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, the ship's backing off. Let's go up, let's go up. Alright. Huh, okay, so they still have some Thanes left. Well. We could push up and just take the victory point. Wow, they really didn't uh, prepare for us in the right direction, did they? We'll, we're, we've already got this. <laughs> I could just speed it up at this point. Get our archers over here. Oh. Kut thread is over there. Alright, alright, alright. Purpose to go here still. Help these, uh, help these scout horsemen out. So far behind. Too busy setting things on fire. Dear Lord. Beautiful city. Being ruined. Being ruined. Everything's being <laughs> lit up. Why would you do this? Alright, we can fire into their sides now from up here. Great position, actually. And, uh... We got some spears here. Cavalry. Got some swords coming up as well. Come on. You guys up here. We're capturing a victory point. Alright, now we're able to fire down here and hopefully. Look at that, imagine you were defending this position, right? You're like right up there and you're just firing away from the top. Hopefully firing into their backs soon. And I love, I love seeing when these guys get shot in their backs as they're running away. When I say these guys, I mean like in historical games. It's just fun to watch. Oh, there's some javelins being shot from up front as well. You guys are not going to have a good time. Try and get a rear charge in here. Alright. Get a rear charge. Maybe get these guys to break finally. Quick thread, it's time to go. It's time to give up, buddy. Give up, I said. Give up, damn it. There it is. There it is. couple more units left, but we're capturing the point now. Can move up over here and get these archers over here. Burning up my city. Absolutely insane the size of this battle. Let's try and form up over here so we can fire and provide some support. Can we actually turn around? They're just out of range. Let's move on up a little bit. Still chasing after. Is that is that Kuthred running? Oh my god, this poor guy. Stab him. Come on. Kill him. Oh! <laughs> nice. Alright. Makes me happy. And now let's fire away into their backs. Not being super tactical here, as you can tell. I'm just trying to get some nice shots as I capture this. The, the definite victory. This is where, you know, everything turns against me and I start to lose. Right, we've got our forces coming down that hill over there. Hopefully a nice charge into their backs will uh, be the end of this battle. Here we come. All right. Piling in on them. Give up, damn you, give up. Men are dying for no good reason. 
Good men are dying for no good reason. Look at that. 18% settlement damage, negative 3 to their melee skill. There it is. Victory is ours. My lord, this city is on fire. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, I'm gonna cut out the, uh, I'm gonna stop doing so many cinematic shots in future episodes. Or let me know if you want more of them, in fact. But uh, that was a nice little 10 minute battle. We came in with many more troops than the defenders had. They should have just surrendered. They should have just given up. Ooh, 668. Oh, they're very close. Very close to being a very different number. Alright. Well, that was fun. Well, it was fun to look at. It was an easy battle, so it wasn't challenging or anything. I could subjugate them. But instead, I'm just going to occupy. I could use the money, but you know what? We're just going to occupy. There we go. North Laod is ours. The Old North mission succeeded. Eliminate North Laod. Plus 10 heroism. Enemies beware. You are getting into your stride with the support of your people and warriors who believe in you. You can be more confident of sending out armies who will return victorious. Very nice. War fervor has increased. The economy is stabilized and your people are content. That is not entirely true. But at 47, plus 1 public order, plus 1 influence, plus 5 unit morale, and melee skill for all units and all armies. Cool, Bevenberg is ours. We actually completed what we set out to do. Must repair first. Let's repair it and then replace it. Don't actually have the money to repair all this stuff, but uh, soon enough, soon enough. Every man will do his duty. Now, can we... Well, he's ready to level up. Ekade. Eokade? Ekade? Ekade. Uh, what should we do? What should we do? I could give him a champion, increase command and the melee skill for the unit. Or I could give him zeal. Help unit morale when he's nearby. Um, well, let's go with Quartermaster for now. I didn't actually realize I didn't get it to him yet. I want that extra movement. So Quartermaster for you. We're suffering from attrition in a couple of armies. That's okay. Buildings that require repair. I'm not researching. Let's fix that. All right. There we go. And no money to do anything else, so we will just call it turn. What a congregation of armed forces. Imagine if Kirken had joined in on that as well. That would have been absolutely ridiculous. Alright, Northumbra, back off. No reason for you to be here anymore. I think what I'm going to do is give my nation a minute to recover. And then declare war against Northumbra. It's either Northumbra or Kirken. It's just a matter of who I'm stronger than, I guess. Or who I can position myself against better. Kirken is roaming around with that 20, which is causing me some concern. But we'll see. Alright, what's going on? Food is still negative 27. That's what's going on. Well... Don't really have the money to make anything else. Jeez. Law? <laughs> right. Uh, let's assign a governor here. Hopefully somebody who... Hmm. Hmm. I want more food. <laughs> but I can't, so I'll take the money. God damn. All right, well, we'll have to wait for that then. And Guggen has leveled up. Let's go with Forager again. We need to make a dent in that food situation. We need to. All right, but yeah, so that uh, that's the end of North Load. We've got a very kind of thin neck over here, but uh, one, you know what, maybe we actually go to war with Kirken before Northumbra. Northumbra's gotten pretty big, which is unfortunate. Kirken has a couple spots that we can easily take. Dunbar and Melros are both minor settlements, and Melros has pastures, so that'll help my food situation. 
Minor settlement, minor settlement, minor, minor. Oh, it's just that 20 stack that's kind of causing me some concern. Either way, we have some time to think about it because this is where we're going to call the session. Thank you guys very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure you let me know. If you have any questions, concerns, anything that I could address uh, as far as Thrones of Britannia is concerned, leave a comment down below and uh, I will try and uh, get back to you with an answer, either visually or over the course of a, well, with a response, with a, like a text response. That's still a thing that I can do. Apart from that, uh, next session we'll hopefully declare war either north to the north or to the south. See what I'm more comfortable with and expand our domain a little bit more. Maybe we'll actually check our objectives and make a decision based on that. We do have, if I'm not mistaken, this as a side mission to take Maelross. So maybe we do that. Maybe it's Kirken. Either way, for now, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. And until next time, cheers.